Welcome here to the Ride Aquatic and Leisure Centre. It's the big game of the day, the under 18 A's grand final between the Ride Panthers and the average Joes. Both teams ready as the game starts. I'm here with Aaron McCarthy. Aaron, uh, the average Joes undefeated in the season. What are you expecting from this game? I'm looking for a really close game, actually. Uh, my money's with the average Joes, but it could be wrong. Um, both teams are uh, quite even, actually. So, yeah. Well, uh, these two teams faced off twice during the regular season. The first game, the Joes won convincingly 16 goals to seven. Oh, wow. And the second time they played, big reversal, ended up as a seven-all draw. So, uh, yeah, should be uh, very close. They both played semi-finals earlier in the day with the Ride Panthers winning their semi-final 12 goals, 12 goals to two against the Misfits, while the average Joes winning 5-0 over St George Ramwick. Well, it's definitely started off fast pace. That was a good bit of hockey to watch. Well, you can see there the Joes with the uh, red singlets, with the, the white uh, on the sides, playing without a goalkeeper. So the goalkeeper with the, the playing, I guess, the kicking back, wearing a white shirt, where the Panthers are wearing black, traditional ride colours, black with a bit of white. They are playing with a goalkeeper. So I guess it's uh, in a very close competition and on a court that's a bit smaller than a usual indoor indoor court. Playing without a goalkeeper may well be the telling factor at the end of this game. The umpires, Riley and Malia, if I haven't mentioned that. Thank you to uh, all the umpires for contributing to the running of this competition. Of course, to Alan Wiggins and to all the volunteers that work so hard in the Sydney Indoor Hockey Association, again, in this 2013, 2013 season. I just love thinking about the strategy behind not putting a goalkeeper in Paula. It's uh, one of the games, again, indoor, you can do it in. It's, it's great to watch. So you have to have a lot of faith in your defenders. That even if they do get beaten, they can turn around and put pressure on the attacker. Because in, in theory, once they're in the circle, they should be able to score a goal every time. Neither team showing any clear dominance in the early stages of this final. Certainly very fast paced and lots of intensity. Well, there's one benefit of not using a goalkeeper. You can use that kicking back for your transfers out of defence. It's a chance for the Panthers. I was saying, once they're in the circle, they really should be thinking they have to get a goal. So what's a ruling, Paul, is that uh, they can't use his feet as the... He's just a, another player? I think that's right, actually. I, well, I, th I think that last yeah. attack actually did come off the goalkeeper's... Uh, well, the kicking back's feet uh, inside the circle. And that's why it was called a 16 rather than a penalty corner. Panthers defence uh, sitting back half court. It's a fall away defence actually. It's wonder if we'll see that... Uh, change at various stages during the game and they put the press on but at this point they're yeah, just happy to sit back and make a pick off like they did just then well, 
Well, they cover very well. There we go. Oh. Got a foot just over the back line. Good composure. Under pressure, nice turn on the reverse stick to release the ball down the boards. And an average Joe's player bearing down on her there. I guess it'd be quite hard for Wright to push up or have a press with that. No goalkeeper making a third, third person there. Well, that's probably why they're doing it. They've got that extra uh, outlet. They can use the kicking back to help get the ball through. A chance for the average Joes. given a corner. Penalty corner. It was a good incisive pass off the boards. Found the uh, attacker just inside the circle. And he's managed to hold on a possession and draw the foul. And first chance from the penalty corner. Spot to the average Joes. saved on the line. Great defence. Ricocheted onto a attacker's foot. Panthers survived that early test. So even though she was under pressure there, that good strong pass with that reverse stick down, just bobbled into the air and earned herself the free hit. So that's why it's important to be really strong with your passes. Great pick up on his back stick. Oh, bit of a slide. Oh, all in. Thought he would have picked up a free hit there, went the other way. Just obstructed and as he was waiting for the rebound off the boards and possibly backed into the defender before he fell. Hence giving away the free hit. So it's, you can see the game plan from the, the Panthers, or the right Panthers, is they just want to get their defence set up and probably look to score from quick breaks. Of which here we go. Yeah, the counter attacks are. A lot sharper than the average Joes. They're very patient, aren't they? Defensively, it's good to see, and they counter attack again. And they're away. <coughs> good, nice use use, the yeah, good use of the boards. Two flat sticks around the kicking back. Oh, oh. <laughs> cross the face of goal. Must have been some good communication. Oh, must have been some good communication. They knew no one, <laughs> there were no attackers there. Here you go, the Panthers. Here we go, and the shot, and the first goal yes. of the game. Matt Kalea. Good team effort, that one. From a wide angle. 
pass from the boards across to the middle of the circle. And from that far left side of the circle, McAleer sends his team to the lead. One goal to nil. Just halfway through this first half. It was a very tight angle to shoot off too, Paul. There. Extra harder from there. Again, with that kicking back, was drawn over to the other side of the court, making that tackle. So we had a clear shot on goal. Average Joe's looking to strike back straight away. Firm defence and good skill running out of defence there. Quick note uh, for the umpire Malia, actually, she's had a successful year umpiring. She got to umpire in the finals of the state championships, so it's uh, good to know you've got a good umpire for this game. Well, umpiring every week certainly helps improve umpiring skills. I've umpired many games every Sunday here at the Ride Aquatic Centre. A standoff between the two teams. Nice touch. Opportunity again for the average Joes. Some good skill. Cross oh. the circle. And a tap in. Wow. Harriet Graham. Good effort. And she's pretty and happy still there. still celebrating. <laughs> takes, takes the score. Well, I'll tell you in a moment while she's, while she's celebrating. You can see the cross that came off the goalkeeper. She's picked up the oh. rebound. And Harriet actually has her sister Steph playing for Panthers. So we've got uh, sibling rivalry on the court. Right. So she's probably excited that she's got one up on her sister already. <laughs> I would too. So the scores just on the 12th minute of the game. This under 18 A's grand final. Ride Panthers one. Average Joes one. Very even game as we suspected. Well, the pace of the game has slowed up a little. Saying that, though, there's a good run down the, the boards. Remember, they played semi-finals uh, earlier today. So you'd imagine that it's been a long day for them. You imagine they will be starting to get a bit tired. Good strong turn. Hit the defence. Yeah, Scrambling great, back. Great gang tackle there. It was three versus one. He made a nice turn on his four stick and looked up and there were two Panthers players standing in front of him. And that loose pass turning over possession. But again, you can see the benefit of playing with the kicking back. Gives an extra player in attack. It's a good play along the boards. Which Joe's again. Oh, good Goalkeeper save. comes out. Slides early. So the replay. Great goalkeeping. Being a goalkeeper, I get quite excited when there's a when there's a save pull. It's a Sometimes more than a, uh, a goal. You see your bias coming through, Aaron. <laughs> yeah. Well, any save in indoor, the ball comes so fast. Anything you touch is, is uh, lucky to get, I think, sometimes. There's very little time for, I guess, make a decision on staying back or coming out. It's often... Strikers at the top of the circle without any defenders around them, and the uh, goalkeeper just has to go. Yeah, that's why it's so exciting being a goalkeeper in, in indoor hockey. You're not just standing on your line, having shots fired at you. You get to get out there and make some uh, some dazzling interceptions and saves. Yeah, decision making inside's uh, a lot faster too, so your adrenaline pumps a lot more. 
Did you find playing indoor helped you with your outdoor career, Aaron? Uh, definitely in the uh, close quarters of goalkeeping, it, it definitely helps with that agility up and down. Um, you'll see most goalkeepers um, that are playing high level in outdoor have uh, also played a high level in indoor. Deceptive transfer. Whoa. <laughs> Looked like a soccer pass back to the goalkeeper. I don't think it's what they intended. No. They had their centre pull back uh, towards the defenders and ran out of options up, up the field. Oh, bit of a stick check. Big stick check. Could have been a penalty corner. Yeah. Just outside the circle, but even though... It's in the final four minutes of this half. Every show is looking to move quickly. Yeah, I think both teams need to use their counter attacks uh, a little bit better than what they've been doing actually there oh good to that's a corner average joe's there just come out of their normal defensive pattern up top and there's a good little steal we haven't seen much full court press but the first time it happened there the average joe's earned themselves a penalty corner Be looking to put this away and take the lead leading into the half time break. Set. Variation. Keeper moves well. Whoa. And 16. Very quick footwork by the goalkeeper to move over to her left there, Aaron. Yeah, very impressive. I'm definitely not that quick anymore, Paul. <laughs> Were you ever? <laughs> Good point. Good skill. Oh, ah, that shot was raised, but because it wasn't heading into the goal, it was deemed a pass, and therefore it was drew the foul. If he could keep that on the ground, he had his player waiting on that far post, it would have been an easy tap-in. Yeah. Again, they're playing with it, getting the ball out wide, trying to draw that kicking back into a tackle so they can make the pass across the circle and tap into an open goal. Work for them uh, back in the 10th minute with that goal to Matt Kalea. Right, winning the free hit there. Another feat of strength between two players. Panthers coming away. Of course, there's a lot of sticks going in there. Panthers still with possession. Oh. Great work finding the foot. A minute before half time, they'll be really found looking the corner. to get something on here. So with no goalkeeper, just a good hard flick sh should result in a goal. If they can make sure the, the push out is, is hard and straight and trapped cleanly, it'll be very, very hard to defend when you have no goalkeeper. Let's see what they can do. Trap. And oh. they're exactly straight, drilled straight down the middle. You could see there was about 48 seconds left on the clock in the first half. Matt Kalea there, second for the game. Good hard push. Yeah. Guess the defenders were expecting something possibly higher. Anything lower in that shin height, just below knees. It's hard for a goalkeeper, let alone uh, a kicking fullback. So just coming up to half time in this under 18s grand final. The Ride Panthers have taken the lead, two goals to one. The clock winding down. 
they have possession, so they should take their time and wait for the siren. I'm sure their coach will like to have a chat with them. It's been a good display from them this half. It's been a great even match, and uh, Rod would be happy with that. One up. Well, at half time here in the under 18 A's grand final, it's Ride Panthers 2 leading the average Joes 1. Stay tuned for some first half highlights. Back for the second half of the under 18 A's grand final. Ride Panthers leading two goals to one. Courtesy of a goal they scored in the final minute of that first half. And a well deserved lead. It's been a very even match. Average Joes were the favourites, having gone through the season undefeated. Ride certainly not, not fearing uh, their more fancied uh, rivals and really taking it to them. Yeah, it's a great contest, actually, and uh, just hoping uh, to see uh, average Joes take it a little bit quicker on their free hits and get that uh, movement going. They need to sort of move right defence around a little bit. Here we go. Oh, great Interception off the boards. Corner there. Must have just come off her. Oh, come on to the, the foot of her right defender. Yep. No, I think you're right. The, the, the Joes, I think, surprisingly seem to be slowing the, the pace of the game down a bit. But I think their strength is to, to play a lot faster. The Ride Panthers have been sitting back a lot more in defence, looking to score from quick breaks. And I think the Joes playing a little bit slower than they normally would play. It's actually helping out the Panthers. But here's the first opportunity of the second half. Can the Joes equalise? Oh, oh, great. Cr That's a great flick. Always very, hard on the inside. Very well taken. Yeah. Ben Campy, you can see. Now, Gee. not many players go for that side of the no, goal. No, not all. There's a lot, a lot of space there to get in there. Well done. And that ties a score up early in this second half. It's right Panthers, two. Average Joes, two. Well, here we go. Paul, game on. This is going to be a great contest. That's exactly what we wanted to see. Have the scores tied up early in the second half. Let's see if Ride change the way they play in the first half. If they stay as composed as they were, that's good play. Yeah, with that three-man press coming up there. It's, uh... But she turned on a strong side and looked up for the mm. pass. Great skill. Well, standing a bit higher there, the Panthers. They are, aren't they? Chance the Joes turned on his uh, strong side, but he didn't look up to sort of recalibrate where that goal was and it went well wide. Quick turn over. You don't want to give the ball back to the attacker running through the middle. Oh, well oh, picked up. Oh, great. Well picked up. Got down low very early. But just the acceleration after he made that interception really put pressure on the average Joe's defenders. Yeah. Well, Rod showed some really good urgency in the first half and starting to continue in the second. Let's bring the ball back for the free hit. Oh, again, well nice done. intercept. Oh. Shot, I think, came off the left post. 
still in play. Under pressure. Good skill. Great skill. Just turn it inside. Oh, good hockey to watch. Just gave away the free hit. Here you go, the Joes. It's a quick play on. And they bridge Joes. Did well there to hold that quick turnover. Like push there by looks of it. I think after the uh, the average Joe's made the interception, the ball just raised. Right. Some more turnovers creeping into the game now from the that Panthers defence that did well in the first half to retain possession. Seem to be rushing some of their 16s for a free hits. Good composed play from the Joes. It's a good angle uh, running across in the shot. Goalkeeper was out early. Closed down. Scrambling to get back to position to make another save. And oh, oh, just across the face of goal. Great scam scrambling defence. Oh, I love that. And the Joes players looking for a, a corner, but I think well umpired. Have the shot over uh, the keeper's head. And just, just travelled wide. This is a fantastic game. Good skill. End to end. Oh, oh the goal was, mouth was open. The ball was running away from him and he's tried to do the little flick with the reverse stick. You can see there when you haven't got the ball under control... He can just run off the face of the stick and go wide, which just happened on that occasion. If he just steadied himself, he would have been able to get a much just better... a little bit more, yeah. yeah. Much better contact. Ball pass into the centre. Quick pass back. Nice skill. Strong wow. play. Oh. Takes on two. Just off the attacker's foot. Average Joe's got a few creeping high. And looking to get him with the board. Great vision. Probably I think she was looking for a direct pass rather than using the boards, but still there was space out there. Well, the defence had compressed the middle, which is what you need to do with indoor. You're happy to give away those passes down the boards. First time into oh. the circle. His teammate knew it was a good ball. Just couldn't get his stick onto it. The keeper was beaten. Well, it's dead even, isn't it, Paul? This is... Uh Great hockey to watch. It's seesawing from end to end. Great skill showing. A few cracks starting to open up, though. Both, well, both teams. Both teams will be getting tired, so you should be able to see some, some gaps opening up. <coughs> Another chance. Oh, oh just, The keeper just got their left foot to it. Guarded well. And striker was <laughs> lurking. Another chance. First time shot. Oh, he's got a... There was no play on. There's a free hit just outside the circle. They get a second chance, though. Still with the average Joes. They've had the better run of play over the last three or four minutes. Panthers still with the ball. Throw dispossess. Opportunity again. Oh, around the corner. 
tackle. Well he's done. still got it. Retains possession. Copped a buffering from the defenders. Held strong. It's the importance of getting down low. Nice, fast transfers. Oh. Keepers come out. Ball's gone behind. Defender picked it up. Lucky to get out of that one. Another chance for the Joes. Oh. It's come in. Didn't get the touch. through the circle without anyone getting a stick onto it. So it's a 16 to the Panthers. I think that's where the average Joes look quite... Uh, oh, this is great play. That's <laughs> a great little interchange of passes there. Panthers moving their way, advancing upfield into the circle. No in and the a net. quick shot away. Oh. Tim Brand takes the opportunity, takes his team with a 3-2 lead and that's come from some great teamwork. The two defenders on. Yeah. Look at that drag there onto his four stick. Wow. And again, they've dragged that kicking back defender to the edge of the circle. If they can get a pass or a cross, there's no goalkeeper there. Yeah, just, just getting it at position. Just putting it out the net gives you that higher percentage, doesn't it? So. That was the 11th minute of the uh, second half. Ride Panthers taking a 3-2 lead. It's a very close grand final, the under-18s competition. So you can see the Joes just not putting a press on. They probably need to start defending a lot higher up the court, especially with some skills, these sort of skills, just the ability to retain possession. Here's another chance, Ooh. just gone wide. Off the boards. So I think the Joes are going to have to really step up, get right at the Panthers' defenders. Well, having that extra player, they, they should probably need to utilise him just a little bit more to, to make it worthwhile to have that free hand. There's a poor pass picked off, but recovered well. Panthers. And here they go. Full of running. Oh, good numbers down there. Oh, cheeky little shot. And <laughs> off the reversing. <laughs> Almost took out his own player. Yeah, worth a go. It's one thing about forwards, Paul, and that they, they have a, a true forward has a go at anything. Well, once they have a sniff in the goal circle. <laughs> yeah. Tight angle. Probably would have been better off just holding on, waiting for a penalty corner. We saw they were scored a goal. Early in this half from a penalty corner, you'd think they'd want to be working for another one. Go right again with a chance. And penalty oh. corner for them. Well, he's obviously saw a raised ball there. He's getting questioned a little bit. I think he's pointing down to something that happened earlier. Well, there's no rewind button, unfortunately. Again, the ride play is just staying strong on the ball. And once you're in the circle, once a defender comes in and hits you or your stick, you're going to earn a penalty corner. It's staying composed. You go right again. Ooh. And a goal. Fantastic. Into that top left corner. I think it's gone through the net. And the Panthers take a 4 2 yes. lead. Yep, wow. the umpire is just taking a moment to confirm that that's gone through. Let's have a look here. Wow, pull the trigger and just burn a just hole in, in that net. It has gone right through. <laughs> that was motoring. There's plenty of heat on that, Paul. And that was Tim Brand with his second of the game, second of this half. And now we see a 4-2 lead. It's a two-goal buffer. Just under six minutes remaining in this grand final. I'm sure now the average Joes are really going to have to pick up the intensity, put as much pressure as they can. Interesting to see if the Panthers continue to play in their attacking manner they have this half or if they hold back and 
try and hang on to this lead. Yeah, well, that's, that's I like to see from Joe's actually that that extra player coming up and really utilising it and making it worthwhile, not having a keeper. Well, they should have done that all game, not just once in the last five minutes mm. when they're two goals up. If that's the if that's your strategy. Saying that though, that last goal that got flicked, <laughs> goalkeeper wouldn't have mattered, I think. You can see now they're slowly walking to put pressure on, and they've got the ball here. Defence scrambles well. Did you see that urgency there? It's still going to be a fight to the end. That's right, and the uh, Joes have earned themselves a corner. I'm sure there's one sister that's feeling a little bit more confident now in the battle of the sisters. Well, one's currently sitting with a two-goal lead. The other one's actually scored a goal. Umpire not quite ready there. This is where the goalkeeper should be taking a bit of extra time, trying to run the clock down. Yeah. Here we go again. Oh, good save. Closed it down. Well held out by the Panthers. This is where we need to see the full court press from the Joes. Putting everything into it. Oh, they're still, they're given too yeah, much space. That, that pass shouldn't be allowed to get through there. They've got the whole court to work themselves through. Here we go. Counter-attack. Oh, great close down. Goalie quickly back in a position. Her defender had that rebound covered. Oh, corner. Diamond yes. into the game. It's great to see the goalkeeper putting pressure on the, the attackers coming there. That's what you want out from your goalkeeper. So just on three and a half minutes to go. Joe's taking this from the opposite side. Again, Panthers uh, getting all their protective gear on. And we're ready. Out. The number one runners picked that off. <laughs> Great run. Very quick. Ball still with the Joes. <laughs> A disappointing end of that attack. Yeah, they're, they're starting to get frustrated there, the Joes, aren't they? I don't think they were expecting to be behind in this game. So now they're really lifting intensity here. Yeah, they're... But yeah. they've got a two-goal deficit to overcome. And some of that good teamwork we saw early in the game, they're starting to run a lot more one out. That's a better defensive oh. effort from them. Quickly taken. Good skill. Yes, great and work. And the shot. Oh. Defender there again. Yeah, it's, it's taken, unfortunately, the Joes to realise that they need those quick... Turnover passes at the circle there to. And the Panthers have just played overall with more intensity, and that's reflected on the scoreboard. Here's a chance. And a goal. Oh. Keepers made the first save. That's Mac Mullen. Reaches in with his reverse stick. Oh, game's still on. It's still on. There's a roundabout. 80 seconds left in this game. Oh, good save from the keeper. Unfortunately, there's a rebound going straight to that stick. There's still a lot of work for Mac to do there to, on the reverse stick. We've seen some other goals, goal shots from reverse stick go wide. He did very nice and low, very strong there. Mm. Got that through. It's close to a minute left now. In a final game, that could feel like 10 minutes. Especially when you're clinging onto a one-goal lead with the opposition. <laughs> yes. Throwing everything at you. What they'd like to do here is earn a corner. You'd be able to waste at least 30, 40 seconds. Let's play it off the boards. No. Leave it is the call. Yeah, it's, it's good play. Soaking up a bit of that time. Let the defender walk very slowly from the back. Good, good pass. Ball. Work to do now. This is a crucial play. Still with the Joes. They don't need to panic. Oh. It's a good pass. Oh, oh that's brave defending. Oh. 
30 seconds on the clock to go. Very brave defending. That play he knew was going to turn and, and flick. And the defenders just held firm. Stick down. And he met that shot. Good courage. I agree, Paul. Yeah. Just Great the to watch. strength. Low down. Now we can see the this press from the Joes. Picked it up. Oh. Ball was raised from a defence. Play on. Yeah, here we go. And the shot oh. has just gone wide. Wow. Oh. Seven seconds on the so clock. So close. They worked that shot well. And it's just gone past the left upright. Oh. And it's full time in an upset here in the under 18 A's grand final with the Ride Panthers oh. defeating the average Joes four goals to three. And the champions of the under 18 A's for 2013, the Ride Panthers. Fantastic game of hockey from the under 18 A's. I have here with me two Graham sisters, Steph and Harriet. Steph from the Ride Panthers, who won, and Harriet from the Average Joes. So, Steph, you guys won. Does this give you some bragging rights over your sister for the next couple of weeks? Yeah, I think I'll get my bed made for the next few weeks, I think. But uh, Harriet put away the goal and you didn't get one. Is that a bit of embarrassing for you? I think that was a shock for everyone, to be honest. <laughs> So, girls, you know, you've just played a game against each other. Um, both played fantastic teams. How's the season been going for both of you? Uh, yeah, it's been a good season. Um, we've had a good team, a strong team, so it's been it's been good all, all season. And how about you, Harriet? Yes, I'd agree. We had both really good teams, and it's just really fun when we get to play against each other. Yeah. And are you guys going to come back and do it again next time, or are you going to start coaching now that you're under 18s and almost finished? I think I have one year left in me, so I'll be definitely be back. Yeah? And back again next year for sure. <laughs> but of course I'll be ride. Yeah? And same, same of team? Of course, of course. Congratulations, <laughs> girls, and well done, Steph. <laughs> 